I was alone. 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 Totally, totally alone. alone. Apart from the white rabbit cradled in my arms, I felt that the world, all my friends and family, had abandoned me. Alone and on the run, with only my small furry pet as a source of comfort. I no longer wanted to run. I no longer wanted to hide. Perhaps if I just lay down then and there, outside the gate of the house, which refused me entry and sanctuary, all my problems would be over. I could lay down then and there, snuggling up to my rabbit to protect at least one of us from the cold, and pray that I would wake up in heaven, in a world less cruel and confusing. I was desperate. I was desperate. So many days and nights without sleep. And somehow things had spiraled out of control. Always such an optimist, such an advocate of positive thinking, I had no energy left to struggle. The cold wind mocked me, and rather than bringing me solace, my rabbit seemed to bring only guilt, as though questioning with his small pink eyes and twitching nose why I had involved him in my downfall. As I closed my eyes and began to pray, I sought the oblivion of sleep as an addict searches for his fix. I turned on my radio as I lay down, hoping to escape from my thoughts and my exhaustion in the comfort of sleep which had so eluded me. The first words I heard were the theme song of the James Bond movie, Die Another Day, and smiled to myself. I couldn't, I couldn't believe, believe my luck. luck. Somehow, I had managed to sleep, and my furry friend still lay cradled in my arms. My neck was cramped from sleeping with my small backpack as a pillow, and yet I was alive and still free. I no longer felt the bone-wearying fatigue dragging me towards surrender. I had been given a new lease of life, a glimmer of hope that I would somehow find the strength to make the effort to go on. I picked up my backpack, slung it over my shoulder, stretched, and, once again, shivered against the cold wind, wondering where the next step of our journey would take me and my small friend.